Welcome back to the channel, Sierra Gaming. You're back with a brand new series. So I bring you episode one of this series. We're going to aim to claim a rat hole. Before we do get into all that, let me tell you guys about today's sponsored server. Are you guys looking for a perfect server on Steam to play? I got the best one for you, Mesa Arc. Join their Discord right now in the description. It has the highest pop, best quality of life settings, custom caves, season alpha prizes, over $400. Super competitive and fun. They have four man, two man, six man, four man wipes May 12th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join the Discord ASAP in the description and it'll be in the pinned comment. I hope to see you guys there. Make sure you join down below. Yes, have fun. I'm gonna actually play this wipe as well, and I hope to see you guys there. Yes, get right back into the video and get a little bit of PvP. But first, we gotta get started. We gotta get some drops. We gotta go around, find some stuff, maybe some early game raids. We gotta get some tame started and all that good stuff. And hopefully, we have some good luck on this wipe. It is, I think, a 20 time server, so a little different than we're used to. But we can farm up these um, dolphins over here on Val and get a little bit of polymer. And some spoiled meat just started off. The polymer is really what we need. Kill this, get some electronics. And yeah, we're starting off pretty well. So we're going to get this started. I'm going to farm up a little bit. Then I'm going to do some scouting. We need to find a Tranodon and all that good stuff. Hopefully you guys are excited for the new series. Make sure you drop a like. Make sure you subscribe if you are new around here. And let's get right into it. Yeet. We finally found a pretty good um, PT. I didn't realize on this server um, the max level was actually 300. So that's different than what I'm used to. I'm used to playing on like a 10 times, 15 times server where it's 150. So a little bit different. We're going to still have fun with this. We just got to keep in our head that it's level 300 so what would that make tech dinos what would their cap be 400 380 i'm not sure about that you guys also let me know in the comments below if the regular teams are capped out at 300 i wonder what the techs are capped out of but yeah we're gonna get this knocked out but i did also find a anki that was able to be claimed so don't mind if i do i'm gonna go ahead and claim that after i get this knocked out and we got an anki right off the bat too don't know if we're gonna really take it with us um but hey an anki is anki we might come back for it and you know, heck, maybe we'll farm some flint metal with somebody else's inky. So we got that tamed up and um, we got to get a saddle made on here. It's customized. So we only need fiber for a PT saddle just to make it a little easier. So let's get that crafted up and then we're going to go and do a little bit of searching and getting some things done. What in Tar Nation? So we found this really, really weird, strange base. Uh, stone with a tech generator and a tech replicator and even a few tech turrets. Um, yeah, I don't know. Bob's gone wild. Here we go. Um, I'm definitely going to try to see if I can sneak up under that um, rep or something and somehow and just blow in since it's stone. Uh, get a couple C4 and just see if we're able to actually get in this because this I feel like could be a decent amount of early game loot because it's built so poorly i also don't know if they're online the server has like a ridiculous like demolish timers so i don't really know when somebody's online or offline but even if they're online i think if they built like that it's not really going to be a big deal yes you can say i'm raiding a bob well this bob is going to give me some hopefully decent loot to start off with i mean they do have a tech replicator they do have turrets they're already ahead of me i'm sitting here placing stone forges so we're gonna get some metal we're gonna get a smithy down then we're gonna get all that stuff and get some c4 then hopefully try to raid this
so we actually was able to find a little spot right here where we weren't getting shot so we're gonna play some c4 thankfully on this server though not everything is locked i think that's has been irritating me on a lot of xbox servers lately is everything is automatically locked which is nice in some occasion occasions but when you're trying to loot you literally have to blow up somebody's entire base just to access, you know, fabricated camp benches. Even if you wanted to be nice and leave some of the junk, you can't. So, um, yeah, I just don't prefer when everything's locked. That's my preference, though. As soon as we've blown this, though, we were able to run in. And they have a generator here. Um, so there was no element in it. So I'm assuming one element just lasts a lot longer on here. Or maybe it was about to run out. Not sure. Never played a server like this before. But we're going to place the little bit of C4 we do have it down on this foundation. And we do end up having um, 5C4, which in reality should blow the metal foundation underneath. Because if I do recall, it's only 5C4, right, for a metal foundation. Well, at least that's what I thought. But you guys will see what happens. So yeah, as you can see, I placed 5C4 down and apparently the foundation did not blow, but it only have a little bit of health left. So what I'm going to do is try to sprint back behind that and then I'm just going to run up and rocket that foundation because it has to be like almost ready to go down. I mean, I placed 5C4 on the damn thing, so it should be, should be ready to go. So if we can just run over there real quick, shoot a rocket, blow the foundation, and then everything should go down. And then we should be able to actually loot a little bit. I don't think there's actually a bunch of loot, but even then, we're going to be able to get the ammo, which is nice. So all the turrets are down. You just loot up. You just get the ammo. We got a decent amount on our body. And the guy had a little bit on his body as well. And let's just get this ammo and just get it out of here so we can start our own little base. There are definitely some crazy ass bases on this server. Some also really weird builds. It does look like this base was already raided. They do have a thick um, redwoods um, shandy over there. So we're going to avoid that. But we're going to just check because a lot of these bases, a lot of these bigger tribes will raid another tribe and they won't need all the loot. So they'll leave some loot and stuff in the vault. So we're just going to go through here, see if we can scavenge anything that we need because i was gonna go farm but why go farm if i can actually get some resources and things out of here it's worth a shot to always check you know 50 50 when you're first starting out on a server So it didn't have a lot, but it definitely paid off. Like I needed um, crystal for C4 and all that, and I was going to go farm all that. Well, guess what? We now have 
so much crystal because they left all the crystal in the deddy and what was down in the vault so i mean it was a free crystal run didn't actually have to farm it so one win in my book now let's go attempt to claim our underwater rat hole on freodor or however you say it So we were able to spam off a little bit in the entrance, but there is another rat hole that has some foundation or and stuff underneath, and there is a meshed uh, transmitter, so we gotta destroy that. So we gotta get an R throw, and then we're gonna go to that other rat hole, get rid of the transmitter, then we should be able to build in this rat hole. At least that's the goal, hopefully. So we'll see if that works. With that transmitter and foundation and all that actually gone now and being destroyed, now we can actually build down in what I would call a pretty broken rat hole, especially early game to start off. It's literally in the water, but it drops down into this air bubble. Shout out to Vitality. I know he made a video on this recently, um, showcasing it in one of his videos. I mean, it's a pretty common, like, known rat hole, but it's still, like, very nice. Like, I love how it just drops down. Yes, I know if somebody really wanted to, they could raid it, but if it's built properly, it's going to be very hard to raid because really the only thing that's going to come down here is turtles. I mean, you can put, I think, maybe a stego right here, but then you have the small spots around where the stego is not going to be able to move. He's just going to be stuck and down right there. So if you put some on players only, some on teams, like split up the turrets, especially when you get some text and stuff down there, I feel like this is going to be a very broken spot. Uh, and we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna see how long we can last here get some raids done build this rat hole the best that we can um, You guys will have to give me some tips and tricks because I've never built here But yeah, we're gonna get these set up and hopefully you guys are excited for this spot it's something different than I usually do and Yeah, hopefully you guys are excited for the series We got a decent amount of turrets um, starting to get placed. Um, definitely don't really have ammo for them yet. We have a few hundred and a couple of them. We'll work on the ammo after. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out the best way to lay the turrets and all that. If somebody shoots a rocket down, you can't really shoot underwater unless you do the uh, jetpack trick. But, um, or tech chest piece trick, whatever you want to call it. But, um... Even if they do that, these are so far back that they're not going to be able to splash damage all these turrets. So they're going to be forced to actually at least throw teams in. So I'm pretty happy with the way that it's coming along. We're just going to circle turrets around. Um, I'm going to replace some of these for attack turrets eventually when we do get all that. we got to place some of these fence supports here. So if they do throw some teams down here, you know, it's just annoying. Later on, we're going to put some bear traps. And yeah, I'll start up rambling. We'll get this build going. And hopefully it looks pretty nice.
I am extremely happy with the way the rat hole come out for, you know, just a day one. I'm going to have to get off here, head to work here soon, but I'm very happy with it. We are going to craft a ton of ammo, though, before I do get off. That's really all I'm going to do the rest of the day is just to get some ammo. Later, we're going to get some tames and all that for part two and maybe do some raids, PvP. Go look around, see what we can do. Also, upgrade the rat hole because there's still a lot to do. Um, like, we got to get the replicator. I'm just going to place it above this, but I'm extremely happy with the rat hole. Let me know what you guys would have did different. Um, um, if there's something I should do to make the rat hole even more secure like I know the tech jump pads and stuff would help once I do get the replicator and everything down but like the video subscribe that's where we're going to end today's video thank you guys all so much for all the support I really do appreciate it and I will catch you guys in the next video peace